Hey, this is Kathy from Kathy Cooks For You and welcome back to my kitchen. Today, I received my first Misfits Market box. So what is a Misfit Market box, you ask? That's a little hard to say. It is just like on Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer where the Misfit toys go to that island and they're there all alone because no one wants them. It's the same with produce. People do not want ugly produce at their grocery store, which sounds really silly. So if you have an apple with a little mark on it or, or your orange has a, a little brown spot or your zucchini is C-shaped and set as straight, it goes to the land of misfit vegetables instead of misfit toys. And this produce is still amazing. So a company decided to open its own online produce stand and they have named it Misfit Market. So we are going to unbox my new Misfit Market box. And then I'm gonna show you some things I did with it throughout the week. Okay, got my handy dandy box cutter here. I'm so excited. I have been waiting for this for like four days. I can't wait. It was super easy to order. Down below, there's a code for you to click on and you can get your first Misfits box for 25% off, so do that. They have two sized boxes. This one is their big mischief box, which is 18 to 22 pounds of organic produce for $35. Then they have a smaller box also that you can get and you can have them ordered weekly, bi-weekly or monthly. Is that not perfect? Oh, pretty. I'm so excited. The first thing on top. Is that not beautiful? I don't know the name of it. It's in the cruciferous family, the cauliflower cruciferous family. I will get the name. That is absolutely spectacular. Anything that isn't the right size, but that's fully developed, it goes to Misfit Island. I have got two gala apples. Perfect. Ooh, quite a few pears. Um, boy, I might make a dessert with some pears. That sounds good and some brie. Oh, I don't think I have any brie. I might. So I have five pears. I see a few more apples in here. I was hoping we would get apples because, um, you know, it's apple season for one. So you should get apples in your seasonal boxes. You should get seasonal stuff. Oh, I have one more pear there. So I have six pears and let's see. And okay, so see, here's one ugly guy. Now this guy, you see that? He was not gonna make it at my Publix market. Now all I have to do is just cut that off and this apple's fine to eat, poor guy. Some of this produce does not even have anything wrong with it. Oh great, I am out of cilantro. So I got a new cilantro. I was trying really hard not to go to the grocery store because I knew this was coming. It's like, well, I don't want to go buy all this stuff if I'm getting it in the package. And then we have two lettuces that are a little, um, you know, they're small. And that's why, you know, these would have been the kind, the um, romaine hearts that would have went in the three pack that you get at the grocery store. But this one's small. This one's kind of small too. Um, just a little slight wilting there. But the good news is, is we're having hamburgers tonight and all I have is a little spinach. So now I have lettuce for my burgers. Perfect. I've got some jalapenos. Funny thing is, is I have two bags of jalapenos in my fridge too. So maybe um, that's a sign that I need to do them all up with cheese. And um, there's another piece of lettuce. Do them all up with cheese and um, have some baked jalapenos with our ha hamburgers tonight. Two beautiful zucchini. I see nothing wrong with them whatsoever. Um, well, I mean, there's that, but I see that at my regular grocery store. You know, just a little nick of their skin is so sensitive. Oh good, I'm out of celery. Celery. Okay, we got some potatoes here, some patatas. Anyone like their patatas? About a pound of red potatoes. Four beautiful white onions. Those are perfect. 
especially it's getting to be fall, so there's gonna be lots of soup making going on. Oh, a nice mango that I see no imperfection with. A um, little line there, but it's not like it's ugly. So, so far my ugly fruit has not been that ugly. A beautiful delicata squash. Oh good, lemons. You know, living in Florida, we love our citrus. Okay, what else? Oh, a few more. Jalapenos. I know how to say it, it's jalapeno. And another acorn squash. Oh, another mango. And then the only thing that looks a little disappointing is my cucumbers, which really I don't even think I would eat. Um, they're just kind of, they look old. Nothing else has looked old, but you know, these small little baby um, seedless cukes are so tender and they get bruised so easily. So to me, this probably isn't the best choice to go in there. I might peel these, that might be fine. Let me, let me just open one. Oh, it's crisp. It's good. Okay. Wow. So here we have it. My beautiful Misfits Mischief Market Box. This was the 18 to 22 pounds of organic produce that I'm super happy with. And now I got to figure out what to do with it. I already decided, you know, at least one of my lettuces will be used for my hamburgers tonight. I was thinking also, well, why don't I just um, cut these potatoes in half and I'm going to grill them. You know, olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic powder, that's it. And I'm gonna throw those on the grill. And then what else? Oh, I started making a bean salad earlier and thought I better stop because I may want to add something from this and put it in my bean salad. So Here is my salad so far. So I've got two cans of chickpeas, about, uh, these were dried red beans, three quarters of a pound that I had in the freezer. And then so far to this, I was just getting rid of what I had in the fridge and I didn't have a lot because I was waiting for this box. So I had like four mini peppers I put in here, a little bit of cilantro, a little bit of parsley, and some onion, salt and pepper, and olive oil. So that's what we're starting with. Now I have some lemon I think I'll put in. Oh, there we go, there's a little mark. So there, I found a fault. You misfit fruit, bad misfit fruit. So I'm gonna put that in here. And then I think since this has these spots on it, I will dice this, uh, dice an apple up, maybe two, we'll put two apples in. All the other apples, oh, here's a misfit. See, see how it, um, it's just not shaped properly. And, um, you know, us Americans won't eat something mishapen like that. So, uh, you know, off to Misfit Island it is. Don't worry. Don't worry. Rudolph will save you. I decided to add some celery, too. Just one stalk for a little extra crunch. So I've got my two apples. This salad will last in your fridge for days. It will taste better tomorrow, um, but we're gonna be eating it tonight. I put some lemon in there, just half a lemon. So there, let's try it and see if we need more olive oil, salt, and pepper. I'm almost 100% sure we do. Mmm. Ooh, that celery. Yeah, I think I'm gonna add one more stalk of celery. Definitely need another pinch of salt and some olive oil and pepper and maybe a little more garlic powder too. I'm just making this up as I go. Let's um, make like an aioli sauce. Aioli is just a name for fancy mayo. Don't let it scare you. Anyone can do it. We're gonna put the other part of that lemon in here. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so good. Again, I've never, made what I'm gonna do right now. This is the first time. It just came to my head. I just saw the ingredients in the fridge and thought, ooh, I've got a little bit of bacon here. And then one of my favorite condiments, chili garlic sauce, far superior to Sriracha. 
so far superior. Let's just mix this all up. And this is what we're gonna dip our potatoes in. Oh, I wish I had some more parsley, but I'm out. Oh no, I've got some out in my garden. I'll be right back. Oh, there we go. And that is our aioli. Chili garlic and bacon aioli. Okay, I decided to do one more thing besides eat my pear and it's delicious. Very good. I cut up the jalapenos, just sliced them off of the core. So I got very few seeds and very few of the ribbon. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I already have like a pound of jalapenos in my fridge. So I thought, hey, I'm gonna put a little salt on these, just a little bit, and then I'm gonna put a layer of cheese over them. I'm gonna bake this, and then this is gonna go on our burgers. Does that not sound amazing? OMG, look at that. That is going to be great on our burgers. It is the next day, and I didn't look up what this was yet. We know it's cruciferous, right? And I am going to put this on the grill. I decided it's so beautiful. I wanna keep it whole, I wanna keep it simple. So I'm just gonna put it on the grill. So watch how I do that. I am just going to spray this with, I just have this avocado oil spray. And I'm just gonna put some of that all over it. You could use butter and just put some pads of butter and then salt and pepper, that's it. I want this to be a beauty all on its own. I'm gonna put that in the grill. I think I'm gonna need another piece on top. I'm gonna just put another piece on top to protect it. And we are gonna grill this bad boy. Ah, perfect. Thank you so much for watching Kathy Cooks Review. Please subscribe below and I would love to hear from you with a thumbs up or a comment.